So you may be thinking, why am I using a transaxle if I'm going to turn this car EV? Well, the, my, the Hyper 9 that I'm going to put in this is about, you know, 6,000 RPM. And so is this. This was built at about 6,000 RPM. So it's a great, like, mate. And also, when I'm driving down the highway, I can just put it into fifth gear, and then it uses less energy for that same speed. And so, theoretically, I could go farther. But that'll be a test for, you know, when I'm actually, when this car is running and driving. I wanted you guys to know that it is a year out from today for when I can get my driver's permit. So I'm very excited. And I just talked with Mark from 914 Electric, and he said that we got to get this restoration going so I can get the restoration done, then worry about the EV components. I've been getting help from Dr. Evil at Evil Works. Basically, he has all these videos and he even sent me some tools that I welded together. We started out by, you know, unscrewing everything and then we took out the gear stack and we set it on the table. And we just took off all the gears and then we had to replace any of the parts that were worn down. A lot of times it was the synchro band that was worn down. So today I'm going to be taking the snap rings off and checking the synchro bands to see if they have any wear or tear. Can you guys see the wear marks in the middle? Oh yeah. So I learned about Dr. Evil through 914 World and all his videos have really been helping me. I feel so comfortable being able to do all this. Just big shout out to Dr. Evil. Okay, so now I'm just gonna replace all these secro bands and probably some of the gaskets, and then I can put this all back together and throw it back into my car for paint, so that way I can get this done in a year for my learner's permit. Dr. Evil sent us some synchro bands, and some of ours were actually a lot like we're pretty cool so we could keep some of ours and we use some of his too so here we go this is what it looks like yeah so these these three synchro bands are gonna be replaced by these three as i'm putting this together i have dr evil's videos pulled up right now and he says to just i'm gonna start with fifth so he said it just compresses into the teeth compresses into the teeth Alrighty, so we got the synchro bands back in. We got the little, I don't know, they're like little pieces that enable it to shift. We got these little attachment rings on that you have to use the pliers for. We got them all on, and I gotta say, Dr. Evil, congrats to you. You made that look really easy. It was not. I'm still tired from it. Um, but these turned out really, really nice, and like, I'm, I'm shocked that we were able to get it in all the way, because, yes. But they all look really, really nice, don't they? This car is going to shift really good. And then we got to put back together those gears, put them back all together on the stack, put the sliders back on. And then we moved away from the gear stack and moved right back into the body of the transmission and unscrewed and then pulled some stuff out. We pulled the differential out, which was really heavy. I was not expecting it to be that heavy. And then we just inspected it. We replaced some seals on various parts of the transmission just so that way it ran better. And it was actually pretty cool being able to see some of the seals 
push back in because they were it was it looked it made it look really clean so that was nice so once we put in all the seals we put back in the differential grew all the plates back on So we were putting the gear stack back in and you also have to use these like paper spacers just to make sure everything's spaced out really nicely and that put like sets the fitment for the whole thing. So we got to put those in, we got to measure those and made sure that they were the right amount of what we did. It was kind of like a puzzle of what we took out. And then we put the intermediate plate on with which attached to the gears and then we put the nose cone back on and made sure all those gears fit, screwed it all together, made sure it was tight. And here I am pouring in some gear oil and honestly, it was pretty straightforward. And I think Dr. Evil's videos really helped me like a lot. I wouldn't have touched this transmission if I hadn't had those videos. Honestly, before this cars had run basically by magic. And now a lot of how cars run makes a lot more sense now. So that's a plus of filling up. I mean, making my own transmission. Why didn't I cut a bigger hole? So that was quite a bit more straightforward. And now I'm finished with my transmission. I just have to bolt it right into my car. And now I'm ready to wheel it out and get it right into paint. So we're making good progress, guys. Oh.